Hello, I'm Kamal Verma, and in this tutorial, I will walk you through how cluster automatic file replication works. To use cluster replication, you need to create a volume that spans across at least two storage servers. You can have more servers if you want more replicas. Here, we'll use a volume spanning two servers. We will work through this example utilizing a single client. However, you can have as many clients as you need accessing your volume. The client has mounted the volume using the Gluster native protocol. Let's create a new file ha.txt in the slash export slash test directory where we have mounted a Gluster volume. The Gluster native client module receives the file operation from the operating system kernel via the fuse file system in user space module. It transmits the operation over the network, which could be a 1 gigabit, 10 gigabit, or InfiniBand with RDMA to the two storage servers simultaneously. Each cluster server module receives the file write operation and executes the write to disk. Writes are completed using a two phase commit model. The cluster native client will obtain a lock on the file, write a transaction log, execute the write operation, and then unlock the file. As we just saw, Gluster Automatic File Replication is synchronous, active-active. With a two replica setup, the client issues file write operations to both storage servers simultaneously. Replication will also load balance file accesses from different clients. All operations from a specific client will be served by a specific server but accesses from different clients could go to different storage servers. Up to now, we have talked about error-free operations. With replicate volumes, we also support automatic failover in the event of server failure. If storage server one fails midway while serving a file operation, storage server two will seamlessly take over and complete that operation. For replicated volumes, we also support automatic self-healing. If a server in the cluster were to go down, write operations will complete on the other servers in the replicate set. That file will be tagged as having operations pending on the failed server. Once that server has recovered, our next access to the file, the recovering server will be synchronized with the latest data. In our next tutorial, I will discuss how cluster self-healing works in more detail. Thank you for your time today. Please visit cluster.com to download the cluster storage platform and take it for a spin.